Hello and welcome to our update on the Crossrail programme. Crossrail is building a new railway for London and the South East. To do this we're building tunnels under London, upgrading existing infrastructure, building 10 new stations and improving 30 more. Let me tell you about the progress we're making on the Crossrail programme. The works to build 21 kilometres of running tunnels under central London is now almost 90% complete. In recent weeks, we've seen two of our tunnel boring machines set off on the last tunnel drive from Whitechapel in central London, travelling west under the city. These machines will construct the final six kilometres of tunnel, excavating metre by metre and installing the last concrete lining, which has already been cast at our factory in Kent. We are on track to complete our running tunnels in spring 2015. The previously derelict Connaught Tunnel under East London's Victoria Dock has now been renovated. This Victorian structure will be reborn as part of the Crossrail route, taking passengers under the water from Custom House towards Woolwich and reusing the old North London Line route. Along with the exciting progress of tunnels, station construction is also taking shape. At Paddington, a breakthrough into the top of the tunnels has taken the station build a significant step further. At Tottenham Court Road and at Bond Street stations, excavation works have now been completed. The next step is laying of concrete foundations and track works and the fitting out of platforms and ticket halls. In Whitechapel, an innovative uphill excavator is creating space for the escalators that will carry passengers from station platforms to the concourse. This machine is the first ever used in the UK to build a tunnel from the bottom up. Outside central London, works are being undertaken by Network Rail as part of the Crossrail programme. A temporary station has been built at Abbey Wood to provide passengers with access to existing services during the construction of this landmark station. The new station will provide additional tracks for Crossrail services, a bright, spacious concourse and an improved forecourt. Works to upgrade network rail infrastructure are now 30% complete. As our infrastructure takes shape, systems and fit-out works begin to take over our construction sites to start the process to turn newly finished stations and tunnels into a railway. Over the summer, Transport for London announced Mass Transit Railway as Crossrail's train operator and Bombardier as the builder of the new Crossrail trains. The new trains will be lightweight, spacious, air-conditioned and built with an emphasis on energy efficiency. They will carry up to 1,500 passengers each. On a big project like this, it is not all about construction. The way we work is important. Central to the project is the support of tens of thousands of jobs, the training and development of hundreds of people, the promotion of safe, sustainable, innovative construction, and the engagement of communities along our route. Over 6,000 visitors came behind the hoardings at our four work sites as part of Open House Weekend in September. In Newham, Crossrail ran a work week with local schools focusing on what the world of work means to young people. Crossrail services will open in phases from 2017, but in the meantime, this major construction project moves forward on time, within budget, and setting new standards for health and safety as we go. We'll keep you updated every step of the way as we continue to create this world-class railway for London.